Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give an overview on the Object Manager in Salesforce. The name itself explains its purpose. The Object Manager is where you as an admin or a consultant will manage both standard and custom objects in Salesforce. As I've explained in other videos, an object represents a data table, similar to an Excel spreadsheet, that is made up of various fields to collect data. An object can be made for absolutely anything you want to create data on. To navigate to the Object Manager from Setup, so we're on the Setup homepage, we'll go up to the top left-hand corner of the page, and next to the Home tab is the Object Manager tab. We'll click on that. From here, you can see that it gives a list of all the objects in your Salesforce org. The list gives various columns that give you specific data about the object, such as type, which indicates if it's a standard object or a custom object, along with label, API name, description, last modified, which will show the date and time that the object was last modified. Additionally, on this object manager page, you can go to the upper right hand corner and click on create to create a custom object. Any object that's created that wasn't out of the box is going to be considered a custom object. You can also click on the Schema Builder button, which I'll go over Schema Builder in later videos. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like if you click on any of the objects, we're just going to click on the Account object. As you can see, there's a list of various things that you can create or modify within the object. Things such as field and relationships, page layouts, record types, validation rules. These are things that you might commonly create or modify in a Salesforce org. To give an example, if an end user in your org is asking for an additional field to be added to the account object, you would navigate to the setup menu like we did previously. You would click on the object manager tab. From there, you would click on the account object, which would land you on this page. And then from there, you would click on the fields and relationships tab. This gives you a list of all the fields and relationships for the account object. Where you would create a new field, you would click this new button. You could also delete fields, check field dependencies, and then also set history tracking. All of these things I'm not going to go over right now, but they are important as an admin to understand. Many of the features that I went over, such as creating new fields, the schema builder, record types, validation rules, these are all things that I'm going to go over in future videos, but for this video, I just wanted to show you really where the object manager was and how to navigate around it. That's all I have for this video. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like. And if you're not subscribed already, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe as well. Thank you all for watching today, and I'll see you in the next video.